Okay, welcome back to the second part of this NPC dialogue. Um, what I thought I might also do in this tutorial is make some sort of um, quest quest system so we can sort of change the way the dialogue is going to be changing at runtime or, or change it um, as an example. So what we're going to do now is if you haven't seen how to set this scene up first I suggest checking out the first video. If not, let's get back. Let's get straight back into it. So, open up in Mono Develop. Now I've had a bit of a think about how to do this, um, and I think the easiest way is to uh, make some sort of string array. Uh, so what we're going to do now is just define a public. Like public string and we're going to put the array which is just the square brackets and we will call this one what we want is the text displayed on a GUI button um, your answers so I'll say we might call it answer buttons answer buttons Public string array type again, and we might just call this uh, questions. Right now, what we're going to do is create a void on oh, trigger enter. Just follow along, I'll be typing pretty tight, uh, quick. I want to try and keep this one tutorial in the 10 minutes. So, um, And what we're going to want, we've got an on trigger enter, so we're going to want a void on trigger will exit. On trigger ed exit. Now, when we collide with the trigger and we enter the trigger, we're going to want some sort of bool to say, or you know, display dialog. Um, so what we'll do is we'll create a bool, and we'll call this one display dialog, and we'll set that one to false to start with. So we don't need to worry about start or update. I personally don't delete them because I think um, I'll use them later on, which most of the time I do. But what we are going to want is a void on GUI. Okay, so. I was thinking about the best way to do this and Basically, I was thinking uh, it was a GUI layout. I was, I was experimenting with Windows and stuff like that. But I think for just what we're going to want is just the GUI layout. Just to display the text for the questions. Um, and then obviously the buttons will come in through that layout a bit later on. Which So now what we're going to do is just save this script. Head back on into Unity. And down here, because we've made those variables public, we should have two strings. This, I don't need that big. So, we'll have probably three buttons to start with. And at the same time, we'll have three questions. So the first one, we'll do the questions, it'll be like, uh, hello, I, well, let's, let's use proper grammar, I am a NPC character, I am an NPC character. Second one, we could do is uh, we'll ask the question, so it'll be 
could you please deliver this message to the I'll throw a cube in there cube um, question mark and what we'll add a little button there because I have no legs <laughs> And the third one will be, um, thank you, for, whoop, 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 this message. Use um, proper grammar. So, first one's hello, I'm an NPC character. Second one is, could you please deliver this message to the cube because I have no legs? And the third one is, thank you for delivering the message. So our buttons will be, um, we could be, I would love to uh, deliver the message. Second one we could be, no way. Deliver it yourself. Legless. <laughs> That's horrible. Uh, and the third one will be welcome. Okay. Now you can write this string or you can write this string out to be thirty if you want. Um, and all you've got to do is just follow the same sort of pattern as to what I've got. But this is just a quick one for them. So we'll head back over into Mono. And what we're going to want to do is create this GUI layout. So we've got GUI uh, layout. Um, dot begin area. And we're going to want it to be a rect. So we want to want new. Right, and we are going to want, where do I want it? It's situated in the middle of the screen, so I'll go about 700, um, have it down about 600, um, and probably about 400 and 400. And then obviously, for those of you who have done GUI styles before, you can whack a GUI style in there, if need be. So after that, what are we going to want? Might might come up and make another another bool, and I might call this activate quest. Activate quest, and we'll equal that to be false. Right. So. With the GUI, I'll just check time. It's got a minute and a half, so we might be able to get this GUI stuff done. Actually, what we're going to want to do first is on trigger enter, we want to go display dialog equals true. And on trigger exit, we want to go display look, display dialog equals false. So now when we get into the trigger, this bool is going to fire to true, then we can have an if statement in the GUI that brings up the first message, giving us the quest. When we accept the quest, then we will activate the quest, and then we're laughing. So what I'll do now is I'll stop this video here, and we well, hang on, I'll check how much time we got. In nine minutes. I'll stop it here and I'll start another one, part three, um, and we'll finish this off. All right, thanks.